Clearly on the Republican side, what we do know is that for years they have coordinated what they call uh, their message of the day. So you'll hear on the floor of the House, you'll hear on Rush Limbo, you'll hear on uh, Fox and Rupert Murdoch's network the issue of the day which they will pound away at, which then creates the echo chamber which resonates throughout America. Here's what he said. I actually did vote for the $87 billion before I voted against it. Senator Kerry recently said, quote, I actually did vote for the $87 billion before I voted against it. End quote. Kerry, starting to feel the heat for his flip-flop voting record, is in West Virginia. Is President Bush doing a good job of defining Kerry as a flip-flopper? And you're saying he flip-flopped on the issue of this. Because he does seem to agonize and flip-flop over and over and over again. He's flip-flopped on all these issues. Beneath Kerry's flip-flopping. is an opportunistic flip-flopper. You're talking flip-flops. New brand of summer footwear, John Kerry flip-flops. They say that he flip-flops a lot. So he's flip-flopped now on every major issue. Would those be the flip-flops? Because he's flip-flopped on everything else. Is Senator Kerry guilty of flip-flopping on the issue? Flip-flops like crazy. First of all, flip-flop. You've seen him flip-flop on a whole variety of issues. Opportunistic flip-flopper who doesn't have any principles. Is that a little harsh? I think um, it shows one thing, hmm. the weakness of John Kerry. You're watching Fox News, real journalism, fair and balanced. And just 263 days until you get to cast your vote and decide that George W. Bush deserves a second term.